the weaponized no, sir. information. No, sir. The court found specifically it's a finding of fact that is not disputed by the government defendants. The Biden administration, your agency, the FBI, or DHS, not in the litigation. They determined you made, you and all of your cohorts made no distinction between domestic speech and foreign speech. So don't stand there and tell me under oath that you only focused on adverse, you know, uh, adversaries around the world. I have to be honest and tell you I'm not sure exactly what you do at the Department of Homeland Security other than great harm. On your watch, the data is pretty clear. We've had record levels of illegal immigration, a rapid decline in deportations, skyrocketing fentanyl deaths across our country, and the Secret Service, which is a DHS component, can't determine who left cocaine at the White House. In the middle of all this, you created the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Agency, CISA, which is a division of, 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 your, of DHS, and it's one of the Biden administration agencies that colluded with and coerced the social media companies to censor Americans' protected free speech online. That's specifically detailed in a 155-page court opinion that came out of the federal court in Louisiana in the landmark litigation of Missouri v. Biden. Have you read that court opinion? Uh, Congressman, uh, I have not. And um, the, uh, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency does not censor speech. Okay, well, that's the court found otherwise. And it's really curious to me. Actually, it's quite alarming that you haven't read the opinion because your agency is listed in this opinion. The federal court looked at volumes of evidence over months of litigation. And they determined, among other things, that uh, if the allegations made by the plaintiffs, the states in this case are true, and, and hold on, the preliminary injunction was granted against your agency, sir, and other Biden administration agencies, including the DOJ and FBI, the court said it involves the most massive attack against free speech in United States history. And you're telling me this opinion issued July 4th has not reached your desk? No one's briefed you on it? Oh, I have been briefed on the Missouri litigation. Okay, but you haven't taken the time to read it yet. Congressman, um... No, hold on. Have you read it or not? I have read parts of it, Congress. Oh, parts of it. Did you read the parts where it said that this is Orwellian and dystopian and that your agency is involved in a massive cover-up of specifically conservatives' free speech online? Congressman, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency is not involved in such conduct. Okay. Well, the court found otherwise, and you stand here under oath and you give us these answers that we know were not true because this is demonstrably untrue. I'm suggesting to you that you're saying things to us under oath that are proven by the record to be untrue. Let me ask you about this specifically. Um, CISA was created to, uh, we call it the Misinformation and Disinformation Subcommittee of CISA. Are you familiar with that? Uh, Congressman. MDM, the MDM Subcommittee, is it, you familiar with that? Uh, Congressman, I am very well aware of the threat of disinformation emanating from adverse nations. Are you familiar with the subcommittee? Just answer the question. I am. Okay. Does it still exist? Congressman, are you speaking of the... Does the MDM subcommittee still exist? Uh, I would have to get back to you on that. Okay. All right. Kind of a big deal in your agency. I'm sh uh, kind of shocked that you don't know the answer to that. Can you define what misinformation is? Congressman, uh, misinformation is false information that is disseminated uh, to... Uh, Excellent. Who determines what is false? Uh, Congressman, our focus... No. Our who focus. determines what is false in your agency? If you're going to pull something off the Internet and collude with a social media platform to make sure Americans don't see it, who determines what's false? Congressman, we don't do that. That's not true. That is not true. That is not what the court has found. This is not a Republican talking point. This is what the documents show. We've had people testify under oath that say, and you just define the term, you're telling me that you don't know who determines what is false? Congressman, what we do at CISA, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, is identify the tactics that adverse nation states use to weaponize disinformation. Okay, what is disinformation? What is disinformation? Disinformation is inaccurate information. Who determines what's inaccurate? Who determines what's false? Do you understand the problem here? The reason the framers of our Constitution did not create an exception for quote-unquote false information from the First Amendment is because they didn't trust the government to determine what it is. And you have whole committees of people in your agency trying to determine what they, de they determine, they define as false or misinformation. That is not true. Well, then what is true? What we Please do enlighten us. Is what we do is we disclose the tactics that adverse nation states are utilizing to weaponize no, sir. No, sir. The court found specifically it's a finding of fact that is not disputed by the government defendants, the Biden administration, your agency, the FBI, or DHS, not in the litigation. They determined you made, you and all of your cohorts made no distinction between domestic speech 
and foreign speech. So don't stand there and tell me under oath that you only focused on adverse, you know, uh, adversaries around the world, Congress, foreign actors. That's not true. Congressman, the, um, the Missouri case, the litigation to which you refer, is the, the subject of continuing litigation. But the facts were not disputed, and I so, so regret that I'm out of time. I hope I get some more yield that I go back.